I started cycling late. I didn't get on a road bike until I was 31 years old. Really, my path toward becoming a pro cyclist was grit and hope and persistence and luck. But a lot of that happened because I based myself here in Tucson with the right community and the right training tools. My name is Catherine Bertine. I'm the founder and CEO of Homestretch Foundation, based here in Tucson, Arizona. Homestretch Foundation is a residence where female professional athletes who struggle with the gender pay gap can reside and live and train for free while they're residents here. When I got my first professional contract in 2012, I then raced professionally for five years. Only one of those five years was I paid above the poverty line. And the men at the elite world tour level earned a base salary. That really ignited the activism spark for me. So we developed the Home Stretch Foundation. We were able to secure the funding to buy the house to make this a reality. I found out about the Home Stretch Foundation when it was just an idea in Catherine's head. Fast forward to now, I'm transitioning from pro cycling into being here as the general manager and being a mentor for the women, but in a professional cycling role. The culture that we create in the home just opened my eyes to the idea of us giving to each other. And I want to push you as hard as I can. You know, it's going to make you better, it's going to make me better. And I want to give you that confidence and that ability to, to be the best you. We chose to be based here in Tucson because it's really the best cycling place in the Southwest, if not the country. We have the most amazing topography. We've got something for every type of rider, whether you're a climber or a sprinter. We've got Mount Lemmon, which is an amazing 9,000 foot climb that goes through just about every ecosystem possible from desert to tundra. We also have these fantastic group rides that truly create you know, the strongest cyclist possible. What's so great about Tucson is seeing all these different places and coming back here and realizing the roads that you have here to train on and the people that you have to train with and the community that is built around cycling and for cycling. Whatever you want, it's here. There's this saying among Arizonans, they'll say, the desert brings you back. And there is something about Arizona, and for me specifically Tucson, where I felt the call, you know, the desert brings you back. And sure enough, it did. And I still love it just as much as when I got here, if not more, <laughs> because, uh, because of the, that sense of people and community that has kept me. I love it. <laughs>